Hello, good morning, hi there, esteemed viewers. Welcome to our mathematics tutorial for today. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to solve x to the power of x to the power of 3 equal to 36. We're asked to find the value of x. Can you hear? Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also, share this video with friends and colleagues. Thanks so much. Now, let's consider the solution to this question. To solve this question, the first thing that should come to our mind is to see how we can find the factors of 36. And once we can find the factor of 36, then we can simply simplify this uh, question. Now, we know that 6 to the power of 2 is equal to 36, which is 6 multiplied by 6, and that will be equal to 36. Now, if we have that in mind, we can simply expand 36. So this question will now give us x to the power of x to the power of 3, and this will be equal to 6 to the power of 2. Fine. Now the next thing that should come to our mind is to also uh, simplify further. Now to simplify further, I want us to see the need of taking the cube of both sides. Now, why are we taking the cube of both sides? As we progress, you're going to see the reason why we do that. Now, if we take the cube of both sides, this will be equal to this, and then we'll have a 6 to the power of 2, all in bracket, cube, cube. Now, uh, let's apply one law of uh, indices. That law of indices states that if you have a to the power of x, all to the bracket y, this can be equal to a multiplied by x y. So we are going to apply that law over this. Now, if we apply that law, that value will now simplify to become uh, x to the power of x cube all to the power of 3. This will now be equal to 6. Uh, this, the exponent will multiply to give us 6 to the power of 6. Now, having done that, the next thing we will now think of doing is also apply another law of indices. Now, remember this law of indices. So if we have a to the power of m all to the power of n, this can be equal to a to the power of, of n all to the power of m. Now, if we do that, that means the powers or the exponents can interchange. If we do that, we are going to have this value to now become x to the power of 3 all to the power of x to the power of 3. And this will be equal to 6 to the power of 6. Remember, we apply this law of indices over here. Now, that makes us have our equation to now look very, very similar. Now you can see that we have same base and we have same value in the power. Now, if you if you look at that very well, you come to see that whenever you have x to the power of x to be equal to y to the power of y, that x can be equal to what x as long as uh, y x can be equal to y as long as y is what as long as y is greater than or equal to 1. Now, if we do that, we're going to uh, equate the other sides. If we equate these other sides, we are going to have uh, x to the power of 3 to be equal to 6. Now, we're gradually simplifying this. Now, all we need to do to clear the uh, cube is to take the cube root of both sides. So if we take the cube root of both sides, we are going to have this to become the cube root of. Uh, we are going to have this to become the cube root of six. Now, if we take that to become the cube root of six, we can easily simplify that cube root to clear cube root, and then we'll have our x to be equal to three. The cube root of six. Or this can also be written as 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3. 
and that serve as the solution to that exponential equation. Now we want to test to find out if our solution is actually correct. Let's check. Remember initially we are given the value x to the power of x to the power of 3. We say it should be equal to 36. Now let's test by putting the value of x equal to this and see if we will get our final result. Now if we put our value of x to be equal to that, remember this can be equal to 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3 or multiplied by 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3 and this will be multiplied by 3. Can it give us that value? Remember according to the law of indices, this power will multiply and that will give us 1 divided by 3 and multiply by 3 and that will give us what? 1. So we'll have 6 to the power of 1 divided by 3 all to the power of 6. Now 1 divided by 3 can also be multiplied by 6. 3 over here 1, 3 over here will give us 2 and this will give us what? 6 to the power of 2 and 6 to the power of 2 is equal to 6 multiplied by 6 which is equal to 36. So you see our value which is the solution x equal to the cube root of 6 satisfies that exponential equation we have up there. So you see it's very easy solving this. Thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you share this video with friends and colleagues. Bye bye for now.